हेलो एंड वेलकम आई एम नीलेष वडनेरे फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ माइक्रोबायोलॉजी ऑफ सी के ठाकुर आर्ट्स कॉमर्स साइंस कॉलेज न्यू पनवेल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट एस्टिमेशन ऑफ प्रोटीन द कंटेंट्स ऑफ दिस टॉपिक आर इंट्रोडक्शन बायोरेट मेथड एंड लॉरिज मेथड प्रोटीन्स एज यू नो दे आर वन ऑफ द मोस्ट अबंडंट बायोमोलिक्यूल्स It has been estimated that 15% of dry weight of an E. coli cell is occupied by proteins. There are more than 3000 different types of proteins present in E. coli cell. They perform variety of roles such as structural role for example they act as the components of cell membrane. They also work as functional proteins. for example they act as enzymes or hormones proteins are also considered as a good source of organic carbon and nitrogen and therefore many products are available in the market as the protein supplements proteins are basically made up of amino acids amino acids have a common structural formula that contains an alpha carbon atom linked with a carboxylic acid group and an amino group besides that alpha carbon atom is also linked to an atom of hydrogen and r side chain there are more than 100 naturally occurring amino acids of these only 20 amino acids are used for protein synthesis these 20 amino acids are called as standard amino acids so here you can see that uh, see the structures of those 20 standard amino acids these amino acids differ only with respect to their r side chain in proteins the amino acids are linked by a special type of bond called as peptide bond this bond is formed between carboxylic acid group of one amino acid and amino group of another amino acid so carbonyl carbon and alpha nitrogen these two atoms are linked by peptide bond so overall the structure of peptide bond is c double bond o nh for estimation of proteins there are two most commonly used methods one is biorate method and second is lorys method biorate biorate is a molecule formed by reaction between two urea so they form a molecule of biorate and this biorate in alkaline solution reacts with copper sulfate this reaction leads to formation of a purple colored complex which is also called as copper coordination complex a similar type of reaction is shown by the peptide bonds with copper sulfate under alkaline conditions under these conditions cupric ion forms copper coordination complex with four nucleophilic amino groups here you can see the structure of copper coordination complex this complex has a purple color and it has absorption maxima at 330 nanometer and 545 nanometer so biorate method is a relative type of method in this method the intensity of color is directly proportional to the concentration of protein therefore we have to prepare a standard graph showing relationship between the absorbance or color intensity and the concentration of protein for this we require some reagents so we require a biorate reagent which is prepared by dissolving 1.5 g of copper sulfate and 4.5 g of sodium potassium tartrate in 250 ml of 0.2 normal naoh to this we have to add 2.5 grams of potassium iodide and make the final volume 500 ml with 0.2 normal naoh besides this we also require a standard solution of protein a protein having known concentration so the st standard stock solution that we use for this method is 5 mg per ml 5 mg per ml of egg albumin 
then we prepare the aliquots of this standard concentration from 5 mg per ml we prepare different aliquots such as 0.5 mg per ml 1 mg per ml 1.5 mg per ml and 2.5 mg per ml we make the final volume 4 ml with 0.2 normal naoh and to this we add the 6 ml of biorate reagent after this we keep the plate uh, keep the tubes at 37 degrees celsius for 10 minutes and then we measure the optical density at 545 nanometer since it is a relative type of method we have to use a reference for reference we use a blank solution that do not contain the protein and once we get the absorbance we can use it to plot a standard graph which is the concentration versus the optical density concentrations in mg per ml versus optical density at 445 545 nanometer the line is a straight line passing through the origin so we get a straight line graph and we can use it for estimating the concentration of proteins in the unknown sample for which we have to do simple calculation the first thing is that we have to determine the slope we have to determine the slope so select any two points label them as x1 y1 and x2 y2 and find out the slope since it is a straight line graph the equation for straight line is y is equal to mx plus c where y represents optical density x represents concentration m is the slope and c is y intercept since the line is straight line passing through the origin the y intercept is 0 and therefore the value of c is 0 now equation can be solved for x so x becomes y upon m that is optical density of unknown divided by slope and by using this formula we can find out the concentration of protein in the unknown sample similarly there is one more method which is considered to be more sensitive for estimation of protein and it is called as lowry's method lowry's method uses the same principle as that biorate with small modification it is more sensitive than biorate method it means that it can estimate the protein concentration in the range of 10 microgram to 200 micrograms of protein and sensitive means it can differentiate two concentrations of proteins which differ from each other by a very small amount so it uses copper sulfate which we have seen in the in the biorate method as well so copper and protein complex forms a colored copper coordination complex but in this method the color is enhanced by additional reagent that is called as fc reagent or folin thiocalcul reagent sometimes also called as phenol reagent this reagent contains phosphotungstic acid and phosphomolybdic acid these acids are reduced by some amino acids to form tungsten blue and molybdenum blue so it enhances the color intensity now which amino acids reduces these phosphotungstic acid and phosphomolybdic acid so it is the aromatic amino acids amino acids with aromatic r side chains such as phenylalanine tyrosine and tryptophan so these three amino acids they are standard amino acids present in the protein they reduces phosphotungstate and phosphomolybdate to enhance the blue color intensity we cannot have the pre uh, precise composition of the product form but whatever color complex is formed it has a broad absorption maxima between 600 to 800 nanometer so for this method we require alkaline copper sulfate here we call it as reagent c which is prepared by mixing reagent a and reagent b reagent a is made up of 2% sodium carbonate and 0.1 normal sodium hydroxide and reagent b is prepared by using 0.5% copper sulfate 
and dissolving it in 1% sodium potassium tartrate mix 50 ml of reagent a and 1 ml of reagent b prior to use second important reagent is follins reagent which is also called as follin cyocalcium reagent which is available in the market in, in a concentration of two normal but we require one normal so we have to dilute it with equal volume of 0.1 normal naoh this reagent contains phosphotungstic acid and phosphomolybdic acid we require a standard solution of protein here we use the 200 microgram per ml as the standard stock solution we prepare this stock solution by using bovine serum albumin now once our reagents and stock solutions are prepared we prepare different aliquots of the stock concentration these include 40 microgram per ml 80 microgram per ml 120 160 and 200 microgram per ml with the final volume of 1 ml then we add 5 ml of reagent c to each tube mix it thoroughly and allow it to stand for 10 minutes then add fc reagent 0.5 ml in every tube mix it immediately and keep the tubes at room temperature for 30 minutes in dark after that measure the optical density at 660 nanometer using blank as reference so once you get the optical density you can plot a standard graph which is concentration versus optical density this line will also be a straight line linear line passing through the origin and then we can use it as a standard graph to find out the concentration of proteins in the unknown solution for that again we have to do the similar calculation determine the slope by defining y2 x2 and y1 x1 and use the equation of straight line that is y is equal to mx plus c since graph is passing through origin the value of c is 0 therefore equation becomes y is equal to mx and for solving it for getting x x is equal to y upon m which is nothing but optical density of unknown divided by slope so we get the precise concentration of the unknown protein sample in microgram per ml microgram per ml so this is how we can estimate the concentration of protein using lowry's method thank you very much